Welcome back everybody, this is Connor from Futures Analytica. Today we're going to be trading a part of the Sunday night European market session on ES. As the European market behaves differently as well as it having a lower amount of market participants, we have adjusted our minimum balance ratio to be 25 instead of 100. But we have left all of our other settings the same. The European session moves much more linearly, albeit at a slower pace than the regular US Open. This can allow you to take a more hands-on approach in terms of your trading exits. I personally found the most success by adjusting the amount of intra-trade risk by manually moving both stops and profit targets to take advantage of forecastable moves. This allows you to minimize the amount of risk you have while obtaining a high amount of alpha per trade. We have had a bit of a micro range here form right before 2am, which we will be trading based off of. When a new bar forms above or below this micro range, which is situated directly in the middle of the green and blue inverse strength lines, we will be arming in the direction of that movement and disarming if price closes inside of the range again. So as you can see, price closed on the short side, a little bit inside of that yellow zone. We've armed in the short direction. Three stacked imbalances formed directly after this and we're able to have a high probability entry here in trend mode. From here on out, we are going to be observing the delta price action and adjusting our stop to change the amount of risk we have. If we're observing a strong level of actionable short inflows, we may adjust our take profit to be further down. However, we do need to take into account the blue reverse line at the bottom, which price has bounced off of a large degree of the time earlier in this session. As the trade has progressed, we've continuously trailed price with our stop loss to take as much risk off of the table as possible. Aggressive sellers are losing their steam to move price down. We've seen Delta's absolute value decrease all the way from 370 to 167 and now opening with almost no momentum. We're going to turn on regression mode to try and catch a regressive trade after this one fills into the reverse channel by using it in conjunction with auto arm. Right as we are filled, a regressive short imbalance is formed and pushes us into a long trade right at the blue reverse strength zone. It is almost impossible to catch regression consistently with an initial RR of higher than one, but there is nothing stopping you from adjusting your RR continuously throughout the trade. I personally will not touch my stop loss until our trade is in the green, but will continuously move my stop closer to the current price and my take profit further from price to a point that is analytically relevant to the current market. As you'll see in this trade, we're moving our take profit to areas in the current previous range zone where our first trade entry was as the trade has progressed, taking into account the current state of the buyer-seller bias by observing delta price action and acting accordingly. The European market is a completely different animal than the US one and does require an adjustment in how we're using the strategy, but I am still utilizing all of the tools in my belt in the same way, we're just changing how, we how we're reacting to the inherent difference in the information we receive when trading the European market compared to our normal routine. If a trade starts to move against us, we may return our take profit and stop loss to where it was initially placed. But remember, we are not allowed to move our stop loss to a higher amount than we initially decided on when we entered the trade. But the same does not apply to our take profit as we can take as much as we want in terms of alpha. One extra bit of information that you might not have noticed before on a range chart in the US Open as the differences are very little, is that the speed in which new bars are formed on a range chart is a very important detail in determining the current phase of the market. For the past five minutes, we saw a strong decrease in the velocity of price, meaning we saw a very little amount of new bars formed, even though the intra-bar volume was quite similar to areas of the market where new bars were forming quite quickly. We're able to utilize this bit of information in both our selection of trend or regression mode, with regression being best used in areas with low price velocity and trend being the opposite. Of course, we're already in the regressive trade as this happens, but this piece of information is not useless as we can move our stop loss and take profit accordingly as this factor evolves. But of course, if you're used to trading the US Open where the average price velocity is actually way higher than the peak price velocity that you see in the European session, an adjustment is required between the two.
As you can see, we have continuously adjusted our take profit and stop loss, with our take profit peaking out at the highest absorption level that our initial breakout trade was taken from, not going any higher than that. As we get closer and closer to returning to the center of the strength zone, we are also seeing an increase in price velocity, with new bars being formed much quicker than when they were being formed near the lower line. We finally get filled on that regressive trade for almost 2,000 in profit in a single move, thanks to our order flow rated RR adjustments that we made in the middle of the bar. Obviously this is a lot more hands on than some are used to in using polarity, but this is simply the reality of using the strategy in this low volume session where stacked imbalances are scarce and you need to utilize other factors to stay competitive as a trader. What's funny is we actually make a $300 mistake right after this. We're trying to catch some more regressive action, but as for some reason the trend in regression mode isn't color coded, we get tripped up and enter a long trade instead of the intended action, which was to start looking for a short trade. This mistake highlighted where we can improve the software, and the next update will include color coded trend slash regression mode buttons. Obviously, this was not the intended trade entry, so we close the trade for a loss. But we're definitely okay with $2,700 in profit in literally the first two hours of the day meaning we haven't even had the opportunity to trade the US market yet where we can obtain even more alpha. But this does mean that if I want to trade the US open, I'll get less than four hours of sleep. So there's the trade off there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're interested in the Polarity ATI, you can check out more of our sessions using it in action at the playlist links in the description. Thank you guys for making it to the end and subscribe and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss more free order flow instructional content.